Welcome back to my channel. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, us. Hello, them. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so today's video will be a change location. One before I continue, change location. Then I should brighten up things and like it's tiring. I'm gonna be indoors a lot, so if I can change it, I will. Um, so today's video is a get to know me tag. Um I just thought that before I continue posting any other videos, you should at least understand the type of person I am or try to get to know me as much as possible in the few minutes that this video will be. And I hope that I'm intriguing enough to keep you captivated to my channel. And my family is disturbing me again, but that's okay. Um I hope you enjoyed this video guys and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Jenny appreciate all the effort that you guys put in and the comments and everything i'm only getting better by you guys communicating with me so thank you so so much for the support much appreciated uh so enjoy the video the only way you guys are gonna enjoy this channel is if you really know me and no going lying because from my house okay uh first question what's your name my full name as it appears on my id is Linda Sesetu Matigiza. Uh, where were you born? I was born in the Eastern Cape in East London. Um, I don't know what time, but it was in East London. Uh, when's your birthday? My birthday is on the 28th of May. Oh my gosh, guys, it is around the corner. I'm happy because I'm going to be at home. Because I've like, I probably spent like two birthdays with my mom. So finally, to get like one that I'm going to also remember is gonna be like i'm happy about it uh what is your star sign i'm a gemini mm, you guys must tell me if i do come off as a gemini i don't think i do but i'm a gemini everyone my mom's a gemini my brother's a gemini gemini and i'm a gemini uh how tall are you i don't know but i'm not tall i am short i am short so don't expect to talk person in the future anyway guys uh, what places have you traveled to in the world? I've traveled. Yo, <laughs> it was Luma. I've traveled to Europe, which was I went to Paris, I went to Rome, I went to Italy, I went to Amsterdam. Um, I went to. Yeah, that's what I can think of right now. Those are the places I went. Um, got to see the Colosseum and everything. And you guys, it's hot. Yo, <laughs> in Rome, yo. But sure, uh, that's where I've been to. Uh, if you were someone else, would you be a friend of yourself? I would. I would. I'd be made to myself. Um, I would, like, I can't. Okay, let me explain. I'm not a great acquaintance, but I think I'm a good, like, if I was, like, chomis, chomis, like, brasses, like, like like this then i would make a great friend that's if like depending on the level of friendship that we're talking about if it's acquaintance like i'm aware of you and like we chat time to time now terribly in that department so I wouldn't even bother but if i'm meant to be like like close close friends with myself then yeah i would i think i'm a pretty good friend and like i bail my friends out i don't care what time if you're in a situation i'll be there for you as much as i can um i think i'm a reliable person when it comes to that what's your favorite food my favorite food is sushi love it love la 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 love it i even learned how to make it that's how much i love it but like in winter when it's cold i love curries curries with like a dumbbell and stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's my favorite like my two favorite meals top 10 pastas are just average pizzas i'm just like so much of it who inspired you what inspired you to do YouTube as well as cooking? Okay, my mom's a chef, self-taught, uh, but she made it a profession. And so just learning how to cook and like knowing how to cook was just something that I've always enjoyed. And it's just something that naturally came to me. 
uh so no one really my mom inspired me to do that well not to do it but like that's where i found my love for it and it was just such a simple thing what inspired me to do youtube um i genuinely think i've got a great personality and people will be like intrigued enough to watch my videos so that's what inspired me um i live alone so i was like also to do some have something to do i think i've got great advice to share with people so i was like why not there's a platform there's a platform that's um being provided for me so the best i could do is take advantage of it and use it to my like best advice how's your relationship with parents with your parents my dad and i are good i love my dad like obviously i want to like gossip to him and like yo to me like but like we've got a good relationship like i know he's there for me he's got my back um dad's generally a provider and like a protector so whenever i'm in a situation regardless of like the matter depending obviously the like degrees but like my dad's like someone i'd run to for refuge my mom is my best friend yo that lady yo like number one i talk to her about everything um we vent we show each other messages like i talk to her about everything so i genuinely and it's a relationship we had to work on what wasn't easy um but you because i'm way more affectionate than my mom so that's also something that she had to like transition into but she's my best friend and i genuinely wouldn't change her she asked me before if i could choose a different mom would i but i didn't think she'll speak about herself so i said Basitana. but like now i take it back i wouldn't i'll choose you again babes my mom's my number one like i love i love her so much and she's actually a pretty funny person once you get to know her but yeah who are your favorite youtubers michali i love her i love her i just love her energy i enjoy her she's great vibes um and it's rare to keep me like captivated to a screen but you're i like shame that girls doing interesting things and sandra son sandra sandra deluxe so that's how you pronounce it as well as ardell i really enjoy ardell her channel is also like great i enjoy her as a person and her content is also like very interesting for me on a scale of one to ten how would you rate your lamza guys look at these lips like and they pillows they pillows on my face so i would times by 10 like actually let me cut it short amazing i wouldn't even put it in 10 like i'm 100 i'm 100 i'm 100 i'm 100 that's how great i am at this thing um what is the first thing you notice on on people teeth i notice teeth on people I look at your teeth, I look at your lips, I like, I look at this area, um, the most, so your teeth are the first thing that I'll see, if you're wearing open toe shoes, I'll look at your feet, that would be the next, hands and feet, hands, feet and teeth are like the factors I look at on a guy, like, I would never even like speak to you if you have ugly feet or ugly hands, and then your teeth as well, like, you no, 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 no you have to have nice feet you have to have nice hands and nice teeth um those are my those are my things uh what are you scared of the most i'm scared of dogs i'm so scared of dogs you i i even have a dog and like you know i don't i don't know i want those small ones like those teacup things like they must stay that size don't grow don't be by my knee you can be by my ankle but then you also still like pushing it i'm even scared of jack russells i just don't like dogs in general and i don't think it will ever change and my family don't understand it they don't try to understand me but that's okay what inspired you to do makeup my aunt my dad's sister um uh, i would like i grew up watching her doing makeup and i used to like take her makeup and put it on my face and so makeup's always been like a big part of my of like my childhood as well as my aunt that lives with my mom as well um she's also like i used to steal her makeup because she's my mom's yellow 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 so i could never use her foundation but magazine was well it's my skin tone so i would always like jip her foundation to put it on and then if she asked me do you have makeup on i'm like no why does it look like i have makeup on then she would just know that i changed her makeup uh how many siblings do you have a rat got a couple from my dad it's my older brother then it's me 
then it's no lisa my baby sister then oh no, no then it's ati my baby sister then it's no lisa who's also my baby sister i did a video with lisa that she's like the youngest from my dad then from my mom i've got two brothers i've got my older brother Maskole, then i've got my baby brother bonani and you probably see him like featuring around or hearing his voice uh he's a funny oak i think where do you see yourself in 10 years see myself being a wag see myself being a wag time's running out 10 10 years i'll be 33. <laughs> i better be a wag i need i need to be a wag in 10 years that's where i see myself in 10 years being a wag living my best life and just the epitome of my life like when i know that i made it i don't want to look at a price tag that's where i'm trying to get like i don't want a price tag to be a factor in my life uh, okay do you have any tattoos yes i've got three i've got the semicolon got a signature my, my mom's signature on my wrist and then i've got a tattoo of the tree of life with my granny my dad's mom um a name at the roots which was ivy so ivy's coming from like the roots um and yeah i don't show of that one while well, you hardly see it i'm gonna get more though i want i want one on, along my spine that's written broken girls bloom into flowers so as soon as i've saved up and i i've got a few of needles so once i get the courage again to go do it i'm definitely gonna do that after lockdown what is your favorite childhood memory? Moving along, I don't know. Come, let's move on. I think my birthdays. My aunt used to throw me such lavish birthdays for my like when I was a baby. So all of those ones were like all of them are my favorite childhood memory. Three things that upset you. I hate being shouted at. I hate being belittled. I hate being. Oh. I hate being woken up, but that upsets me. Don't wake me up. Three things that make you happy. Food, being with my family, and um, cuddles. Cuddles make me happy. What is a beauty pleasure? Two, I love watching Dr. Pimple Popper, and then there's like some stones. I like sucking on stones, but it depends like what type of stone. Not just random stones. It has to be like, I like the taste. So, that's a weird fact about me describe yourself in three words i don't think it's gonna be three words but i am vivacious <laughs> i'll describe myself as a vivacious girl i'm bubbly and funny i think i'm pretty funny some of you might not think so but i think i'm hilarious yo <laughs> i actually make myself laugh like randomly what is something that people don't know about you i'm shy i might say bubbly i know i say bubbly but i am shy I'm, like to people that i don't know or if if i only know one person in a room and there's like new people everywhere i'm so shy i'm not gonna be like hi hey guys how you doing knowing that like i would usually do it like on a normal day if i if the ratio needs to be more people that i know of than people that i don't know so and like i'm not i'm so shy what do you love about yourself i love my personality i think i've got a great personality um and yeah I think I've got a great personality and that's what I love about myself. What's your best physical feature? My lips and my eyes. I think I've got amazing. I don't think you guys can see the clinic. There's a glare from the sun. But I think I've got great eyes and great lips. Those are my two favorite features of myself. What is something you'd never leave the house without? Bubble gum, because I think it's bad manners to have bad breath and my phone those are the two things i would never leave the house with so if you guys ever see me in public you always see me chewing gum i'm always having bubble gum um i'm not happy with this lighting right now but we'll see <laughs> how it goes i'm a natural what is your love language mm, my love language is i do acts of service um i'm i'm like i'm that type of hand that will like bring you food if you like at work and you're hungry if i can i would do your hair if you got like dreads or like whatever what i can tell base i like i'll base you i will i will what i would do your nails like if i can see your nails are too long i love hands and feet so like 
my man needs to be groomed and who's gonna groom me so i would like to do that that's that that's my love language um what love language do you want in your partner Oof, i want that love language where people give you gifts i don't want presents but like i want to know that someone's like always aware of me and my presence like you are aware like if you go into the garage you're gonna grab me play and even if i don't ask the play like the effort of of thinking of me that's what i appreciate um that's the love language i would like what is your ideal dream date Ooh. Mm. i think like a picnic that the individual set up for you like just the effort i like like make i want to know that you made the time for me do you understand so make the picnic from a picnic like cute picnic like i really like even if you both of you it's okay but like a picnic then we play games like monopoly and stuff and crazy eights while having like great babes and everything like we're just enjoying each other great music a playlist that was created it was not done <laughs> that the individual created by themselves like i need to see like there was effort and thought made into it that would be an ideal date for me and just great loves just like enjoying your individual space and just like even if i had to dress up and look cute it's whatever but like i'll put in the effort just as much as you put in so that's my ideal date um i like intimate things like it's been like i want your attention so do you i want to see like you thought of me when you were doing this where would you like to travel in the world i want to go to bora bora guys i would love to travel to bora bora that's one place that i know and it's on my bucket list i'm gonna go bora bora and the maldives those are the two places that i that's in my heart that i will go whether it's a honeymoon whether it's just me going by myself or with my mates those are the places the two places i'd love to travel to and one place i would love to experience in terms of like just an activity is um carnival when it happens in brazil that's i want to wear those feathers and like dog covers with other people <laughs> that's something i want to do what's a dream car rolls royce phantom mm, i want those little bunnies i'm very into that i'm not sure on the color i was really feeling kylie's baby blue one um but you and she changed it to the chocolate seeds i was like ma'am what are you doing what are you doing love it love it so between but like i need a phantom in my garage that and uh ooh, i'm really liking the new q8 that audi dropped and i'm really um feeling it i'm feeling it i really really like it uh that's also another car i wouldn't like that would be like a car that just for my like own driving i wouldn't mind having if there's not something else that drops it so, do you have kids and if not how many do you want no i don't have kids i don't want kids at the moment when i'm crazy enough to have kids i want six <laughs> yeah i want to i want quite like four if not six that's like that's where i'm at i want a big family um with i don't want this thing like i want just two parents and then like all the kids like i don't like i'll fight for my marriage i don't want to ever get divorced so like whoever marries me i hope like you understand what you're getting yourself caught up into because and then now till death do us part and i i mean literally so i want six kids but right now no I don't want kids i don't have kids i'm so happy i don't i'm a little too selfish to be someone's mom right now to like i'm focusing on myself and putting myself first uh so yeah. that's something you would tell your younger self if you could i would probably tell my younger self that like go for it do you understand like don't you are gonna hear so many negative things about yourself like not even like sharp your parents are there right but they're not they're not always going to believe in you so you need to always believe in yourself first put yourself first protect yourself i would have told myself that protect yourself don't like listen to all these like outside voices sit down and listen to your voice your inner voice your own voice because at the end of the day guys like you were born alone just then you were alone in that room if you had a twin then i'm really lucky for you but for me like i always remind myself that like we are born alone so 
there's no one else to have your back more than you so i would always like i would tell myself that my younger version that put yourself first protect yourself and just like yeah guys no one's gonna love you more than you love yourself you, someone will try to match it up but all is like yo guys self-love was something that i taught myself so like too late in my life and i wish that i had learned it from a young young age um because insecurities are something that are there unfortunately but i wish i taught myself how to love me before letting someone else love me more than i love myself so that's that's something i'd say where do you see yourself going business wise <sighs> i plan on having a plus size fashion range lingerie line more than anything um nothing frustrates me more than lingerie shopping and uh i, I buy a majority of my lingerie at distraction um Woolworths. but like places like la senza and stuff don't have in my size or for like big girls like me bras and things are trying they are they have like a cute plus size range but it's not like focused on on like plus size women not only that we in south africa guys a lot of like african women are big no one's size like not everyone's size 24 do you understand and we also want to feel like cute and sexy and stuff so i really want to have a plus size lingerie line that's something that i'm striving for and that i genuinely believe i want to gain and i'm going to get one day so that's it for now don't have any other questions i hope you guys were able to get at least like the genesis like, what the essence of my personality and you guys will get to know me and understand me more and more as we go on this youtube journey um so yeah i'll be posting another video pretty soon i'm not sure to don't know what's gonna be yet but i'm gonna upload another one within the week and um i hope you found this informative and you enjoyed getting to know me Thank you.